Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Divi Nation. Divi Nation is a podcast and YouTube show by Elegant Themes, a proud leader in the premium WordPress theme and plugin market. As always, the goal of Divi Nation is really simple. We want to provide you with the knowledge, insights, and supportive community that you need to be successful with WordPress and Divi. I'm your host, Nathan B. Weller, and as your host, it's my job to facilitate that success. So to that end, in today's episode of Divi Nation, I'm going to show you something that I've been getting uh, quite a few con- requests for almost from the beginning of the Divi Quick Tip um, idea. So this time we're going to cover how to create a directory or listing homepage with Divi, specifically one with a large search box that's front and center in the top section. Let's get into it. In this Divi quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use Divi search module to create a standard listing or directory homepage like the one you see here. So the search model is actually added to Divi 2.6, but since I've continued to get requests for this quick tip, I thought I'd make sure that we had some documentation on just how to use it uh, to achieve this type of search focus section on a page. So let's take a look at what this requires in the Divi builder on the back end. So as you can see here, uh, I've got a standard section and uh, I've got an image module for my logo, text for my descriptive copy, and then of course the search module here for my search box. So let's open that search module up and see what the settings look like. So uh, just like with all of our modules, we have a general settings tab, an advanced settings tab, and a custom CSS tab. Um, What I've done here is uh, I'll just show you, kind of walk you through how I configured this particular search box, um, which you can see right here. Um, I chose to keep the text color dark, text orientation to the left, which is the text inside the box. And I want to, uh, if you want, you can exclude pages, you can exclude posts. I chose not to, um, but that is uh, optional. And you can also exclude categories by checking them here. And this is just a kind of a a testing site. So I don't really have uh, any categories created, but if I did, there'd be a list here and I could choose to exclude those. Um, One use for this, by the way, is if you want to create blog posts um, that don't show up in your blog role, but do show up for searches like this, you can uh, exclude some posts from your blog uh, module settings and then um, exclude your blogging categories um, from your search module settings, um, this particular search module setting. Okay, and uh, I chose to hide the search button. Uh, you don't have to, but if you uh, if you do, you'll just get the just the search box, which is what I thought would be best for my page. Um, and then of course you can put your placeholder text here. Now the sample or the example rather that I put up is a um, sort of like a directing directory or listings for jobs website. And so I put find your next job. Uh, let's jump into the advanced design settings. Okay, so you can choose max width, uh, button and border color. Um, you can change your input field background color, which I made sure mine was a nice crisp white. Uh, placeholder text color. So this is for the text that appears in the search box to hold its place. This is the find your next job uh, t- uh, text right here. And you can change your font, font size. So clearly since I wanted to create a bigger search box, I wanted to also have larger text. So I was able to scale this up pretty easily uh, just using this uh, this meter right here. Um, then the input text color. So this will make sure that when people actually type it's more visible. And on down, you can also adjust some button settings here if you have your search button selected or not hidden. Um, I happen to have it hidden on my example. Now here's where things get really cool. So down here with the custom padding, uh, this is how I was able to create that really large search box uh, look and feel. I just created padding on top, right, bottom, left. And when I did that, it gave me all this padding right around here to make my search box really big and kind of dominating of this section. So um, it's kind of a call to action that you can't miss. So yeah, those are the basic settings that I used and you can do the same or of course you can make any number of tweaks that you want. If you want to come over here into custom CSS, uh, you can uh, 
do some CSS before the main element to the main element after you can adjust the input field and the button as well. You can also give it a CSS ID or CSS class here and make some changes in your style sheet or the, of course, the custom CSS panel in the uh, general Divi settings. When you're done and you have everything exactly as you want it, just click save and exit. Make sure to update your page. And on the front end, you'll have a nice uh, search focused section on your Divi website, which is perfect again for uh, directory or listing websites. Well, that's all for this episode of Divi Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to reading and responding to your feedback. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this episode, feel free to drop them in the comments section wherever you're watching or listening to this, whether that's on Facebook, YouTube, or a blog, and I'll do my best to follow up with you in a timely manner. You can also email me directly at podcast at elegantthemes.com. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you around the community. As always, we'll be back next week with another episode of Divination.